Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's time for another Dollar Tree haul video. I am super excited to show you this haul. This is the biggest haul that I've ever done at Dollar Tree. I went to two Dollar Trees this week. Um, one, I posted one of my um, wish list finds on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, do it right here because my daughter was super excited. I'm gonna show it to you in the video. I don't know, I, I think I almost spent close to like 80 or $90 in finds this week. Not, it sounds crazy, but I got some amazing finds and some things for a party that we're having, so that stuff always adds up. But I'm gonna go ahead and show you what I got. Okay, first let me start with my personal favorite find. I almost missed these. These were in like the corner of the store, all the way in the back. The worst spot for these because I don't think anybody really saw them, um, except for me, <laughs> or at least I lucked out. Maybe they just put them out, but I found, I believe they are called the False Graph mugs. These mugs are amazing. So they are a very chunky style mug. Um, this one says it's fun to be a girl and with a cup like this, yes it is. This is so cute. So I got this one, I got five. Um, the ones that I'm looking for are the teacup ones. I think I would probably like fall in the store if I saw those. All of these got, these I was super excited to find. Um, I got this one, Discover New Horizons. There were more and I took a couple of pictures. I don't know how many more there were. There weren't too many, but there were some other designs as well. So definitely check them out at the end of the video. I'm gonna try and go a little bit quicker with this video since I have so much stuff. This one is amazing as well. Check it out wild and free look at those beautiful colors these are amazing you know year-end teacher gifts you can just put like a little coffee thing in there when you're on a budget there are so many great things at dollar tree that come out that will definitely save you lots of money this one says home is wherever i'm with you really really pretty sides there all around the cup and I love this one explore the world with the yellow sun and the ocean there okay, and next I got a ton of tote bags this week um, I did find these little wristlets which I thought were really cute because here is the anchor one I thought this would go really cute with that anchor tote um, it's a nice zipper little pouch I mean it's a smaller size wristlet but definitely enough for a little bit of cash lipstick um, IDs a little you know little stuff like that so I got that one and then I got this design as well which I've just been digging they have the scarf um, I believe one of the tote bags that I got what a cute little gift teacher gift again three bucks guys imagine that she could get this you could get the wristlet and then you could put the scarf in here for a year-end gift three bucks so there's tons of things at dollar tree that are gonna just your budget is going to love for sure so i did get that tote i also got this one that says tropical vibes i just i mean these i just have a big box which I put all of my totes in. So when I need a tote for a birthday gift or for going by somebody's house and I'm bringing maybe some stockpile gifts and I just wanna put it in a cute bag, I just take that, throw the stuff in there and I give it away and it's so easy and people just love, who does not love tote bags? I did find this cute elephant tote bag, which this one is just so pretty. It's just got these solid blue on the side. I found this one that says discover. Here is the side angle of that. Now for Father's Day, this is a really good tote bag to get, or you could do like the Batman, Superman, but I found the Captain America Avengers bag. So these are cute if you're getting, you know, another place that had really great um, Father's Day gifts was Five Below. They had cute Avengers shirts for five bucks. So that might be a gift option. And they had other Avengers type things as well. This one I got for a younger birthday party that we're going to. It's the Mickey Mouse clan there. And look at how cute on the side this bag is. There is just hot dogs and sunglasses. Cute, fun stuff there. So this I'm gonna use for a birthday gift. I found this one, Believe You Can, with the star. And these are those Main Street totes. 
And then I found this one with the cactus and plants on it. Again, Main Street totes. So many cute tote bags, guys. So many. And then um, we're going to another birthday party. So I grabbed the Zoom Zoom tote bag as well. Now I'm going to go into a couple of Father's Day finds or possible Father's Day finds. They're definitely putting out a lot more. Um, my Dollar Tree has had the like barbecue display out for a while and um, I just got the basting brush here for a dollar. And then I also picked up one of the tongs here. They seem pretty good quality so for a buck good good find. And speaking of Father's Day, like I said, they are putting out a couple of things. We did grab this sign. Um, it says, Dad's Wisdom, a little bit of dirt never hurt anyone. Go ask your mother. Do as I say, not as I do. Money doesn't grow on trees. It builds character. So I thought this was just a cute little sign. They had different ones, too, and they also had ones for um, grandfathers as well. And then they have some really cute picture frames. So you can grab this one. It says, Dad, you are my hero. Really cute. It fits a four by six picture. So you could go ahead and grab these for Daddy's Day. They have these cute trophies. This one says, Best Dad on it. Just something fun. You know, they can put it on their, on a desk, nightstand, if they at work, anywhere that they want to go ahead and display that. And they have these cute little boxes. Um, this one is in the shape of like a toolbox. It says Mr. Fix It. And it just opens up. And I thought for these, like um, we would put like little candies or treats, kind of fill them up with little things. But if you're getting, um, you know, like a jewelry type gift for dad or something, you could put it in here. Um, different ideas. I mean, you could put socks in here. Sky's the limit. Anything that you can fit in here, you can put in here. So they had this one, which is a smaller size. And then they have this one that's kind of like a suitcase or a little briefcase, which was really cute. But you can see here that this one is a little bit bigger all around. Um, they didn't have many of these at all at my store. And in fact, they were just the briefcase ones. So I was hoping to find one in the Mr. Fix It. But again, you can just slam in here anything that you want. Um, but they just make a cute little extra for your Father's Day gift. And then another thing, like I, I know something that my husband loves are these microfiber cloths. So if you're making just a bag of just random goodies, this is something that you can put in there. They have these. Okay, so this was a new find. This wall hook, it holds up to 12 pounds. Um, I thought for my son's room, it's kind of neat. Um, they had two other colors. I think there was a red one and a green one. So I'll attach the pic at the end of this video. But I thought this was just cute. Something, um, you know, again, 12 pounds. So it's not going to put anything too heavy. But that I would just hang this in his room so he could go ahead and use that. Okay, so one item that we were super excited and that we posted on Instagram, my daughter was with me, which was even more exciting because she's been looking for these, were the Disney Zoom Zooms. We found them and we almost passed them up because there were so little of them that they kind of stuck in with all of the other girls' toys. And these were just hanging where the regular girls' toys were. Um, so yeah, these are Series 1. We did grab some of these. So this says Mini, Anna, and Eeyore. And they're just so cute. Look at them in the back. We're going to keep two of them. My daughter's going to keep two. And then we got that Zoom Zoom bag. So we're going to a birthday party. We're going to use the bag, give one of the Zoom Zooms, and then put in um, the rest of our gift in there. Um, White Rabbit, Winnie the Pooh, Mini, and then the Eeyore, Olaf, and the Donald Duck. So really, really cute. Super excited to find these. Um, another thing that we did get for our gifting. Oh, there's my cups. I got to be careful there. Um, for our gifting is this cute little um, frozen headband. So they have a ton of frozen coloring books. And if you haven't seen them in my previous videos, they come with like a little locket necklace. They are really, really nice. And then there's a nice activity book. There's reading books at Dollar Tree. So if you have a frozen fan, you could put together a really, really nice gift. There's cups there. So definitely um, check that out. But I thought this was really cute with the bow. So we are going to put this in our gifting box. Always everybody loves Frozen. It's a really good hit. Um, I found for my son this foam glider. 
um, which includes stickers. It has a 22 inch wingspan. They were just putting these out. So again, I'm making little activity boxes for the kids and when we have bad weather or when it's too hot to go outside, we're gonna have things that we can do inside that will keep them occupied and happy throughout the summer. Um, I did get the roadside bingo. I don't know if you guys have seen the, these. This one um, is obviously the roadside version, so it has like traffic lights, bridges, mailboxes. They, I saw cuter ones at the second um, Dollar Tree that we went to, but I didn't really want to pick up another one because this is kind of a thing when we're in the car or having a car ride, something that we can go ahead and do. I'm not sure if it comes with a sheet like for me to read them out to them. So what I'll probably do is just photocopy this and um, you know do it that way. But it does come with two of the dry erase markers. So that was really good and two of the sheets as well. This again is going in their um, activity boxes. Now it's so easy for my daughter to find things at Dollar Tree. My son, it's a little bit harder because he's going on 11. So Dollar Tree isn't as exciting to him. But um, this is origami. It's a paper folding kit here. So you have 12 pattern origami sheets, a play mat, and step-by-step -step instructions. And it looks like it shows you you can go actually on YouTube and get instructions as well. This is from um, Crazy Art here. So cute, cute, cute. I mean, they look really cute. I hope it's not as hard to put them together. Sometimes those you're like, you wish you didn't buy it because it's more work. Um, we got some new shopping stickers. We are holding on to these for back to school. My daughter likes to put them on her folders and our school allows it. So I like to get her a couple of fun stickers so she, when it's back to school can get her kind of excited and, and ready. She's gonna be in the second grade already. And she likes these little cups as well. Now I wish they had them for my son. My son will use the mini ones. Um, they just don't have any. I know that they have the Mickey Mouse ones, but my store only had mini and frozen. So we picked those up today for a dollar. There's 36 paper oh gosh, cups. Like, I am just looking at those mugs and they made me so very happy. I wanna find those teacups so bad. But moving along. So my daughter, I've already started um, storage bins for back to school and what I do is I just label them Joey Sam Sam isn't going in the second grade Joe is going in the fifth grade so as I pick up things here and there for school little things like you know the stickers or school supplies things like that I put them in their bins so we're already getting started for the new school year because it approaches before you know it, guys. So definitely don't wait till the last minute to do that. She wanted a water bottle. We always have to have a couple water bottles throughout the year. So I figured, let me just go ahead and grab this, throw this in her tote, and she's good to go. Then she did see these fancy drinking glasses and she said she wanted to get one for her and then one for mom. They have these straws in here. And the straws come out so you'll be able to go ahead and clean them but um you know she said we could put our slushies in here and just have a girl's drink so i thought that was fun so we grabbed two of these and they did come in other colors as well guys so i did get a couple of stationary supplies never can go a week without getting some kind of stationary supplies and a lot of you guys ask how do i store all of my dollar tree items well, I do have a tote for stationary items. I have the kids' totes for back to school. Kids' totes, and when I mean totes, those are like shoebox size for their summer activities. And if you guys wanna see what I exactly put in their boxes, definitely comment below and let me know. We do a lot of different things in summer because they're home with me all the time and it's hard to keep kids busy and occupied and happy during the summer because they always want to go out and do stuff or go to the movies or they're more into spending money and sometimes you really have to stay home. But that is how I store all of my stuff. And then when I need it, I just go in the totes. So definitely investing in some totes. Shoebox sizes for smaller items is really a good thing to do. Um, sticky notes. So I got these really cute jot sticky notes here. So this one says create your own sunshine. Love it. There are 100 sheets. Very pretty. And then this one says follow your heart. It knows the way with a cute little heart there. Love it. Um, 
I was blessed to find those planner supplies. So a couple of weeks back in one of my haul videos, I hauled one of those um, really pretty greenish, like kind of like turquoise kind of color, three ring binders, the smaller size ones. And this week I did find some of the planner supplies. So I found the tab dividers. This is a three pack. So check that out. It says turn dreams into plans. And then one says be bold, be kind, be brave, be you. So this is a three pack. And then I got um, the weekly planner pages. This is a 30 page. So it has the Monday through Sunday. You can see the back sheet there. It says um, binders in stationary aisle if your store has them. And then I did get the um, errands, the task pad. These are 50 sheets. Really, really cute. And then I did find these um, magnetic bookmarks. It says Girl Boss. I mean, they're just so, so cute. So I got those. And then I did get one notebook this week. One notebook. That was all I was going with. Um, think happy thoughts. This is so cute. 60 sheets. So that was all the stationary supplies I got this week. And I do do like a mommy homeschooling type thing in the summer where we do activities every day. I generally keep it around a half hour and we do it first thing in the morning after the kids have gotten up, eaten breakfast, and done all of their things. Um, and I make sure that they read 15 minutes a day as well in the summer just to keep going. It, it's really helped when it goes back, when they go back to school, it's helped so much because um, you know sometimes kids tend to forget things that they've learned and um, I never did these activities in summer we played outside all day but I think nowadays it's a little bit different and it makes it easier for the kids as well plus it's fun I make it a hundred percent fun it's not sitting and doing worksheets all the time it's you know making up their own stories and just being creative so I did get the kids two of these dry erase boards these work well, we always have to replace them every year, but they come with their own markers, and then I have the erasers as well, or the kids can just use an old sock and just clean them, but this will get us through for the summer. Um, for my daughter, it's really easy to find activity books for her. And my son is going into fifth grade, so generally what I do to find activities for him is I go on Pinterest, and um, you know I'll type in fourth grade, fifth grade, because obviously I want to review stuff he learned in fourth grade. I don't want to give him new, new material because I don't want it to be too difficult, because definitely going up in grades, it's getting harder. Um, so I got her this, my daughter, this first grade phonics book. It will just kind of review things. She will literally go through this. She loves to do this. And sometimes she just does these things on her own, not when we're doing school. So I really like that. And then I did get her this test prep. It's for math and language arts. This is second grade level. So I thought it would just be something to get her started, see where she's kind of at. And, um, you know, it didn't look difficult or I wouldn't have bought it. So it definitely looks like something that will work good for her. Then I found this foam dry erase block. I thought this was so cute for different activities. Um, you know, sometimes we'll do like, we're going on a field trip today and we'll go to the park or we'll have a picnic. Or if we're playing different things for the day, you know, I can have them each roll it and whatever they pick, you know, write different things on them is what we're gonna do for the day. So it kind of makes it fun and it kind of makes the days a little different. Um, you know, and gets them excited and gets them thinking. Recently hauled um, some really cute things at um, a garage sale haul video that I did and they were Christmas um, little decor pieces and they needed C batteries. So rather than going to spend a lot of money on like Duracell C batteries, you guys suggested just get them from the Dollar Tree. So I'm gonna go ahead, light those puppies up and I'll probably post it on Instagram or I'll post it in my next garage sale haul to show you guys how they look. Um, I grabbed a couple of party bags. These are gonna be for Sam's birthday party. We have no idea what we're doing yet, but I figured green for boys, pink for girls, we're good to go. My store either has these or they never had them, or they never have them. So I figured while they have them, let me go ahead and get them because they're really cute. Then I do have a friend who is doing a Lego themed party. They have 
plates with this design. They have tablecloths, a lot of different things. But um, she was looking for treat bags. So I thought those were cute because they kind of look like a, a Lego type, um, you know, design there. These are 25 loot bags and they do come with the silver twist tie. So 25 is awesome because um, these, the ones that I got for Sam have 10, but these are more of a bag. And actually I'm gonna open them because it's more of a bag type look, which, you know, those tend to cost more anyway. So here are the pink ones, yes. These are really, really cute. So if she wants to decorate them with stickers or if we go with a theme, which she's getting old now, she's told me she needs to get out of the character themes, which it's like she's seven. I don't like hearing that, but um, yeah. So those are really a great find. And those Lego ones, 25, wow. I needed another stapler. I always get my little staplers from the Dollar Tree. The last one I had lasted about two years. So if you can get two years out of a stapler, that's pretty good. Plus it comes with 200 staples. So good, good, good. You know, we have a game where we lost our timer. So Dollar Tree sells these sand timers. Um, these are two minute timers. So I just picked up one of these to just slap in our game and have it. Um, so if you ever need those or if you're timing your kids for certain things again, it's a two-minute timer So I thought that was pretty neat They have these cute eraser toppers. My son is a die-hard minion fan So he's been a minion fan since the minions were invented um, So I got these for him. I thought he could put these on his pencils Anything to get him motivated for school if it's a buck I'm buying it. Okay, I told you guys this was a huge huge haul. I did not get many food items they had the um, blow pop lollipops. There are eight in here. So for a dollar, it's an okay deal. So I grabbed those. I also grabbed another pack of these Scooby-Doo um, crackers. These are the cinnamon stick crackers. There's six in a pack. Way good deal. This is a way good deal. Um, and then my store had these Keebler Toasteds. These are the Toasted Sesame. And they're three rolls. They're individually wrapped. So for a buck, you know, these are usually like $2.99 in store. So for a dollar, that is some really good savings. And it's Keebler, so something different. My store tends to either have stuff as far as food or have absolutely nothing. So the next items I'm going to go into are themed for our party. Now it's my parents' birthday. They were born one day apart. So I asked the kids what kind of theme they wanted to go with and they said they wanted to do a red, white, and blue theme for my dad because he's very, he's like all American, American Eagle, um, just loves America. So that was perfect for him. And then for my mom, they wanted to go with a luau theme. So I already have some luau decorations. I just got a couple of things to add. So I'm going to show you some of the things that I got for their party. Remember at the end of the video, I'm going to add a couple pics of things as well. So I'm going to go through this stuff really quick. We're going to start with the red, white, and blue. They have these bigger flags at the store for a dollar each. So if you want to decorate outside, that would be really fun. They do have the three packs of the patriotic mini flags there. So if you want to grab those, I like to put them like up the walkway and they just, you know, those are nice because you can keep them up through the 4th of July. So you get a good amount of time. You can start with Memorial Day and then just keep it going. This is a felt garland here with the stars, the red, white, and blue stars. Um, it's nine feet. Nine feet on that. This is a flag. I'm going to open this because I really want to see. It's got the American Eagle on it. Okay, this is, this is cute. Oh, that's the wrong side for you guys to see. It just says freedom. It has the American Eagle out there. So we will definitely be sporting that. One thing that I did pick up at the Dollar Tree were these planter holders. I thought that they would be good for hanging baskets and they were not good for hanging baskets, but they would be perfect for um, these little flags that they have. So we can go ahead and put these out, put this out there and use that for it. Um, I might actually have to hike it up a little bit so it doesn't hang in the dirt. So we got those. We got some window decor. So I just put one of those 
um, 3M little things that you attach to the window and hang these up. I got two of these and then I got the Uncle Sam hat here with the stars. The kids have so much fun helping me decorate too, so it's really, really worth it. And we have a, we have some other 4th of July decorations, so it's going to be pretty decorated in here for sure. I love these burlap bows with the um, red and the blue on them. I got two of them. And then they have this patriotic banner, so for our um, steps in the house, I like to um, usually hang up something like that or I can put these in the window. This is a 10 flag banner. It's 12 feet. And then I did pick up two of these. These I will probably put in house here. These are the patriotic banner too. They're eight flags and they're 12 feet as well. And then for the outside, we have some posts. They have the patriotic bows. These are really nice for a dollar. So we will just go ahead and um, we already have hooks out there, so it makes it really easy. We just attach those to the hook and put them up. When 4th of July is over, we can go ahead and put them down. And then I did get, I thought this was so cute, this little decor piece. This is going on our front door. It's just a little burlap with the three stars here. And they do have it completely plain where it's just red, white, and blue. But I kind of like the one with the star and the stripes. I think it's just a little bit different. So those are all of the items that I got for 4th of July. Okay, and for the rest of my haul, I'm going to show you what I got. I did pick up um, one of these Dollar Tree hats. These are like the hibiscus flowers. They're really cute. They come in pink and purple. Not the best quality. And as you can see, like it's just like... You know, it still could be a little bit longer for me. I don't have like a pony hanging out or anything, but it's still cute for a dollar when you just want to slap your hair in a hat. This just makes it so super easy. So in honor of the Hawaiian decorations, I am going to keep the hat on. I, I couldn't believe that I found this. I have not seen this. It says, welcome to paradise. This cute pineapple. So, so cute. So I grabbed that. Oh guys, I forgot a 4th of July. The light up necklaces so my daughter really wanted one of these with the stars so i got her one of those um i didn't get a ton of luau stuff because i do have stuff from a previous luau party that we had but i thought this banner was really cute with the burlap and i'm gonna go ahead and open it so it has like the um paper pictures at the end but they have like these little burlap sheets that just spell out luau and I just think it looks really cute. So it's in the blue and pink. And this is um, seven feet. They had a ton of the Hawaiian lays, the flower lays. So this is a, these are both three packs, but you can buy individual ones that are really, 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 they're nicer. But if you're just looking for, you know, if you want to pass them out. So I figured for some of the girls that are coming, we would give these. And Sam already has some, so we are going to utilize those too. It's always good to utilize whatever supplies you have for parties to kind of lower your out-of-pocket costs. I did get two of those. They had such cute like serving trays. The red, white, and blue serving trays are bigger. So if you're doing any kind of like themed party, you might want to grab those. They had chip bowls, everything and anything you could possibly need for either a Hawaiian theme or um, 4th of July Memorial Day party. And then finally, I did get some cute little drinking cups. Um, just a couple. We already have a ton of supplies. So these are just kind of extras. There's not enough for everyone to use, but you know, just some to kind of spice it up and give it a little color. Thank you so much for watching another Dollar Tree haul, guys. I'm super excited to get out there. Favorite item of the week were these cups. Again, I'm looking for those teacups, so I hope to have them in my next haul video. If there is something that you are looking for at the Dollar Tree, definitely comment below. And also, guys, too, if you want to go ahead and join my Dollar Tree Facebook group, it is started. I will link it below in the description box. Feel free to share any maybe Dollar Tree crafts that you have or Dollar Tree ideas or great finds. Things like that I would love to have on that page and share with others. So until the next Dollar Tree haul, good luck with your finds, guys. Thanks for watching and take care. Bye-bye.